Hey everybody, Mental Fox here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Fallout 76. Thank you for joining me again. Just outside of our camp here. Uh, I think the first thing that I want to do is... Um, I want to say goodbye to this guy here. He's just going to give us the same old quests over and over again. Um, and I wanted to uh, just go ahead and bring the forager guy here. Just to see what he has to say. Not really expecting a whole lot from him either. Uh, but we may as well see what he has to offer. So... Let's go ahead and uh, say goodbye to this guy by uh, getting rid of his um, thing here. Oh, pfft. get up, dude. <laughs> All right, get up. I heard something Beat it. interesting. No, go radio, away. If you got him. Get out of here. Hey, what if I said uh, sit? <laughs> How do I get him out of Move it, dude. Get out of here. Well, I can't get rid of that thing with him sitting there, unfortunately. There we go. Get up. Beat it. No, don't you sit back down. Okay. Uh, I want hey, to... No, wanna, no, uh, no, no. Something strange? No, I don't. Uh, scrap. Goodbye. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> there he goes. Don't give me the thumbs down, you little jerk. Uh, we're going to switch to build, and we're going to go to uh, allies, and we're going to build the forager's chair. That's what we're going to do. We're going to invite the forager to come stay with us for a little bit. See what kind of stuff he wants us to do. I mean, he's called forager, so he's probably just going to have us do some stupid fetch quests. Hey, look at him. Look at his legs. <laughs> he's scared. You all right there, buddy? You okay, man? Are you stuck? What's going on? You know... Licorice tastes better now. After the new. Oh boy, can't wait to interact with this guy. Well, I better grab my purified waters here. Just keep doing it. There. It's very important that I pick those up. Here, go up there. Sit in your chair. And hopefully I don't have to wait until the next time I play to get a quest from him, but it's certainly a possibility that that might happen. We'll see. Nuke dropped over there, or is that just a storm? Oh, there's a nuke over there. Somebody's running around. F Gun Grave is running around in there. Where'd you go, dude? I, I put you I built you a chair. Have a seat. Looks exactly like my chair. Yeah, there you go. Doesn't that seat look comfortable? Yeah, have a seat. There you go. All right. What's up? Hoping for a pension, but all I got is tension. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Settler forager. What's your name anyway? Hush. Oh, okay. So he's not going to have anything for us, which means uh, probably have to deal with him in the next episode. That sucks. Or maybe when I leave and come back. Speaking of leaving and coming back, uh, let's bring up the map here. Let's go down to uh, the old rusty pick. And uh, we'll, we'll test our luck down here. One of my commenters has said that he's feeling lucky for me. So I'm going to go down here and um, see if we can't get lucky with the old uh, purveyor here at the Rusty Pick. And also I'm going to, I think I still have a couple more things I want to trade in or do I? I don't know. Maybe, I, maybe I've traded everything in for script. In we go. So first thing we'll do, we will go to the stash and we'll see if I have anything else I want to trade in. I don't think I do. Uh, let's see, weapons. Uh, bloody knuckles, I sure as heck don't want those. Vampire super, super sledge, yeah, I'm sure that's cool and everything, but that doesn't really fit my play style. So we're gonna trade those two in and then apparel. Um, I think I'm keeping everything else. So let's go ahead and do a legendary exchange. Trade in the bloody knuckles. I am not interested in those even a little bit. And the super sledge. Okay, traded those in. We've got we're up to 945 script. So it's a good thing that I'm doing this because I have a lot of script. I want to walk around down there, man. There's stuff down there. How do I get down there? Can I get down there? Oh. 
I don't think I can, can I? Anyway, let's talk to this gal. What's up, Purveyor Murmurg? Uh, legendary ranged weapon. That's what I'm interested in. Let's try that. <sighs> okay, well, not interested in this. Look at the size of that thing. I mean, it's 90% reduced weight, which is nice. If not in combat, plus 100% VATS accuracy at plus 50% AP cost. That's too complicated. I'm not interested in that. I'm going to trade with you again. Let's do this again. Bloodied combat shotgun. Damage increases as health decreases. VATS critical shots do plus 50% damage. 90% reduced weight. Not really my style of play. Some people like to run around with real low health to increase the damage. Uh, but that's a that's a risky game to play, if you ask me. Um, although, with my invisible suit, um, that might uh, work well. The thing is, though, actually, that's not going to work for me at all. I've got a mutation that um, gives me health. Uh... Let's see, health regen plus 300%, this healing factor. So I, I, I can't, unless I get rid of that mutation, I can't stay at low health. Let's try again. It's just script. Uh, I don't want a stupid pipe revolver. Double damage if target is full health. I already have instigating weapons. I don't want more instigating weapons. Try again. All right. Damage increases when suffering from addictions. Not interested in that. Okay, that is way too similar to what I just got. Not interested in that. Zealot's short radium rifle. Plus 30% damage to Scorched. Who cares? I hate everything. Uh, missile launcher. Another Zealot thing. Damage to Scorched. Anti-armor short plasma pistol. Ignores 50% of your target's armor. Bashing damage increased. Who cares about that? And then plus 250 damage resistance while reloading. Eh. Executioner's salvaged assaultron head. Charged by reloading repeatedly. The more charges, the higher the damage. Irradiates user. Plus 50% more damage when your target is below 40% health. Plus 50% limb damage, plus one perception. Jeez, that's a lot of stuff. That's, a, that's too complicated. Um, well, now I've got a bunch of this crap to deal with. Let's get rid of the heaviest stuff first. I do not want this. I do not want this. I do not want this. And I don't think I could trade anything else in. No, no, I want to keep that. Okay, well, um, I should be able to get, what, one more, two more things here? I could try two more? No, just one more. <sighs> this giant freaking thing. All right. Well, that was... Sorry, no luck today. The luck was not on my side. All right, let's see if we... <sighs> well, I maxed out on my uh, weight here, and now I'm over-encumbered, so... <sighs> oh, well. Um, that, was, that was not well thought out. Um, if I wanted to store this stuff, well, I got to get rid of some stuff here. And uh, I don't feel like messing with that. So now I can't fast travel uh, because I got so much crap. Um, we can't uh, turret any in any more legendaries because that thing has a daily limit. Oh look, there is a way to get down here. Uh, I think 
You know, I think I remember coming down here before. What is this? Oh, it's just a wig. Weird. Whoa. Look at this thing. You gonna blow up in my face? Huh? Are you? What are you gonna do about it? Look at that damn thing. That's what I think about you. It still here, murmuring, breathing. Uh, that's where where all the stock is kept. And look, it's kind of cool that it shows like where she comes from. She must live back in there. That's cool. Have I been down here? Yeah, I think I remember coming down here before earlier in the game, before this was um, Murmurg's place. Yeah, I do believe I remember coming down here. He says as he keeps going. Can I open up at this gate? There's a tape. Your order's arrived. Well, let's see if I've heard this before. Let's look through my... Oh gosh, this one, this one starts with a Y. We're gonna have to scroll all the way down to the Y's. Oh, there's somebody walking around in there. Another, um... Mole miner walking around in there. Interesting. Hmm. Well, maybe I maybe I haven't been down here before. Maybe this is new. Maybe I'm thinking of someplace else. I don't know. Okay. Eh, see, your order's arrived. We've been here before. We already have this tape. I don't remember what it says, but just simply having it tells me that uh, we've already been down here. So, what am I going to do? Now that I'm over encumbered, well, I need to get rid of some stuff, but um, what to get rid of easily and quickly, because it's not really something I want to spend a lot of time messing with. I'll tell you that right now. So let's go up and look at my stash. Although I just did this last episode or a couple episodes ago, I looked for some stuff to get rid of. Quick bang for your buck kind of thing. Sort by... Uh, Wait. I've got all this stupid ammo. I've got these gamma rounds for sale. Nobody's buying these. Uh, let's see here. Cancel the sale. Oh, what's, what happened? Did it go over here? Ammo. It was gamma rounds, wasn't it? Yeah, right here. Uh, fusion cells, nobody's buying those. They don't weigh that much, but... Cancel that sale. Uh, five millimeter rounds, nobody's buying those either. I mean, they, they just don't weigh that much, though. I, I really don't know what I'm saving. Grenade rounds, they weigh more. Yeah, ooh, that saved some. Plasma cartridges, uh, so I have just all this ammo here that, uh, nobody's buying. So, I think I'm just going to get rid of it. I mean, fusion cells, 45 rounds, 5 millimeter rounds, look at that. Uh, and then, I mean, I still have all this junk here that I need to take somewhere and get rid of one of these days. And then, as far as aid goes... I mean, I'm carrying around this this stuff that I really don't know what to do with, and I don't know if I will. St st super stim packs. I thought I tried to sell those a while back. Maybe um, I had too many of them to sell. Look at all this boiled water I'm carrying. Toxic water. Again, this stuff doesn't weigh that much on its own. I mean, I, I realize I have 150 Radaways. So, I mean, what I'd like to do is sell these. I really don't want to just drop them on the ground. Um, but we need to find a place to sell them first. Uh, let's look in the inventory here. Uh, ammo. I mean, I don't need these 50 caliber balls. Uh, these 50 rounds, I'm not using these. Just drop all those. 10 millimeter rounds, I'm not using those. 38 rounds, not using those. 308 rounds, not using those. And yes, I could go back and do that stupid ammo converter thing, but... I don't feel like messing with that. So, that's really not freeing up a whole lot of weight. 
Not a whole lot. Harpoons. Missiles. I mean, that's, that's helping. Plasma cartridges. There we go. I mean, railway spikes. Look at, look at all this crap I'm carrying around, man. There, that gets my weight down. At least now I could fast travel. And, I mean, that may have been painful for some of you to watch. But I don't care. I'll get more ammo. I'm not worried about it. The only ammo I care about is 5.56 and um, 45 right now, anyway. So, there, we got rid of all that stuff. And then, as far as our stash, we didn't really make a lot of space. But I could at least store this. And, um, like I said, at least now I'm not over encumbered. So at least now I can do a little bit of fast traveling. Uh, let me take a drink of something here. And, uh, let's get the heck out of here. And then we'll take a look at the map and we'll see if there are any good events going on. I haven't had much luck with that, I don't feel like with events. Although, didn't we try to do an event a couple episodes ago that with Beechwood something or other, we're supposed to save trees or something? Alright, let's go to the map. Let's see. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff going on up here. Not sure why. I mean, there's a lot of people up there. Oh, there, because there is an event going on. This is Campfire Tales. We've done that event several times already. Uh, powering up Mananga. I did not want to do any more of those. Those are, those are kind of lame. Uh, powering up Thunder Mountain. That's nice. Two powering up events on the map at the same time. That's wonderful. And then, um, that's it. That's all there is for events. So, yeah. That's it, man. Well, um, damn. I thought I had a... Well, I mean, the plan that I had for this episode was to uh, see if this forager guy had anything for us to do. I'm hoping that now that I've traveled away, maybe I'll come back and he will have something for us to do. I just, just want to see what he has in store. Hey, dude. Make way. Gramps needs some space here. Yeah. Hush. <sighs> nothing, nothing there. All right. So, um, what we will do is, I don't think that I've gone back to Vault 79 since we, since we last left it. Um, let's just go see if anything's changed here. I don't know. Go check it out. See if I could... I mean, I, I think I've got gold bullion. I think. Call button. Oh. Call button. Okay. Let's enter gold vault operations. Hear people walking around. Hopefully they'll have their clothes on. Hey dude. What's I'm up? I'm gonna hold your hand on an assignment. I'm not your mama. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've only got a minute. Make it quick. Why are you in such a hurry? Mom says okay. That's uh, nothing new there. It's our job to take I a bullet I still get to this, keep my light ring 10 millimeter short barrel with a silencer, though. Uh-huh. Wasn't there somebody here who was supposed to sell stuff? Agents live oh, by here we rules. Go. Cole seems to have forgotten that. Yeah, we don't call him slick for nothing. Let's see. Let's trade gold bullion. I have 800 gold bullion. And here's some of the stuff that we can get. Gauss pistol. Some stuff for that Gauss pistol. Plasma caster. Stuff for the plasma caster. 
Protective Lining Secret Service something or other. Improves strength, perception, and endur endurance. Um, it's an Under Armour. I mean, that's kind of cool and stuff, but... I don't know if I care about strength, perception, and endurance anymore now that all my quests are over, right? Here's a resistant lining that's cheaper. What's the difference? I mean, they all, they both improve strength, perception, and endurance. Secret service. Oh, interesting. Power attacks drain less AP. Well, I never do power attacks. Uh, asbestos line something reduced energy damage and immune to being set on fire. Increases duration of chems. Reduce additional melee damage while blocking. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever blocked once in this whole game. Uh, so there's all kinds of armor arms. A Secret Service chest piece. Boy, that thing's expensive. There's a... Oh, damn. Holy hell, there's a lot of stuff here. Vault 94 Scout Armor Mask. Look how expensive that is. Strength and Endurance. Thorn Armor. Don't mind the others. People's skills aren't their strong suit. T65 stuff. A ton of T65 stuff. Strangler Heart Right Leg. Whatever that is. Solar Armor. And then some Shielded Agent Lining Sturge stuff. That little brat is a pain in the ass. It's a but great look call a Peter for short. Um, well, I can't really say any of this stuff is jumping out at me as anything that I really want. Wait a minute. Now Slick is standing here? <laughs> and he moved away. That's Maggie hilarious. is a sweet girl. Even if the others think she's a pain in the ass. Okay, well, um... I, mean, I, know she could be I guess that was kind of cool to Peter come back is. here and check that out. Manhunt. I've done that, that event before. So I don't think we need to do that one anymore. Um... Yeah. What's this? It's a trap. Use the lure at so Geeseberry Bog here. to trap Everyone a Scorch Beast so on the ground cool. and defeat it? Well, I don't remember that one. Let's go check it out. <laughs> I don't know. I've been looking for new events. Lure a sketch Scorch Beast into a trap and finish it off. Hmm. I mean, it sort of sounds familiar, maybe? Or maybe not. This is one that I wouldn't mind if somebody else came down and helped me with. Scorch Beasts are not my favorite. Okay. It's a trap. Use the lure to trap a Scorch Beast on the ground and defeat it. Okay, well I could just simply activate the lure here. So apparently it's possible to lure Scorch Beasts... Scorch beast luring trap powering on. Who's this? The device will entice the beast to land, and the trap will keep it grounded for the duration of the battery life. So kill it quick. These things are brutal and nasty. Good luck, folks. I love being invisible. So I guess maybe that was a recording we were hearing? Um... But it sounded like he was standing right here. So I wonder if being invisible is going to be helpful against the Scorch Beast. Guess we'll find out. So please don't tell me I have to wait 10 minutes before I can fight. Because that's a long time to wait. And what do I do in the meantime? Well, the marker's gone, so sure as heck ain't going to be any other players joining me down here. Holy cow, level 470. Man, it's crazy. Why do these have to show up like that? 
Here's some footsteps here. Okay. Alright, Scorch Beast, come on. I mean, it is. I did activate it, didn't I? Prepare to fight, it says. The uh, quest. Well, event. It's a trap. I set off the lure, and there are some crazy noises being blasted into the area. I guess this might attract trouble. I don't hear any crazy noises other than that guy that was just talking. You? I don't think this this thing's working. I think this lure's broken. <laughs> I don't hear crap, man. I mean, do I need to not be invisible for this this guy to show up? That would be dumb. Oh, is he coming? Uh, let's take a look at my perk cards. Okay, I've got Grim Reaper Sprint on there. I think somebody told me that I forgot to re-equip that, but it's right there. I don't need Expert Commando on here, and I don't know why I have it on here. I think what I really want is Concentrated Fire. I must have put the wrong card on there last time. A long time ago, because it's been a long time since I messed with that. So that was wrong. Yeah. Ain't no Scorch Beast. Ain't no Scorch Beast. I don't want to stand up and make myself visible. I really don't want to do that. I mean, I have this... Uh, uh, this advantage being invisible and I don't want to give up my advantage what is that place right there that is oh, I don't know what that is it's not on the map utility protectron walking around over there whoa wasn't a nuke, was it? No. Okay, calm down. What is this place? Oh. Okay, I don't want to leave the event. Oh, what's this? Something happening? Oh, he's there on the ground. And I'm doing no damage to it. Look at this. There we go, now I am. Let's do my crit on him. Apparently he can see me. No. Well, I think he's gonna be dead in no time. He's dead. <laughs> this is so freaking awesome, man. Die! Okay, we completed an event. Isn't that exciting? Golly gee, he was so quiet I didn't even know he was over there. Uh, plan for Ultrasight Rusty Knuckles. Ah. And a stim pack. Well, boy, howdy. That was awesome. I'm not even going to complain about that. That was a great. <laughs> That's the easiest time I've ever had killing a Scorch Beast. What is going on here? What is this place? They're like building a farm here. This is neat. I just find it so odd that it's not on my map. this. A surgical mask. Just pick that up and put it on. Diseased cranberry. Huh. Oh, those of you who know, who know everything about this game, is this new? This wasn't here before, was it? And by before, I mean before Wastelanders. Yeah, I feel like this is new. It's a terminal here. Larry's Terminal. Man. Have I been here? Larry's Terminal. 
Water irrigation log. Error system down. Day one, up and running. I finally have the system up and running. Pipes are secure and water is flowing. Have to keep a steady schedule of water running and see what results I get. I also need to make sure I have a method of recording which formula is working best. I'm planning to use a variation on the formula in the greenhouse to gauge its impact on crop growth. So we're looking at crop research version 0 0.27. Day 3, small growth. I can't believe it. Ooh, test holotape added. I am already seeing growth in the crops. If this keeps up, not only will they grow faster, but likely larger as well. Very good signs for the future. If the crop growth stays on the tra trajectory, I'm not sure how other farmers will keep up. And then 30 days later, he's got a neighbor problem. I have seen substantial growth in all crops. As I have hypothesized, the resulting crops are almost double in size. The only problem is I am attracting too much attention. At first, Sandra wasn't too keen on my experiments, but now she has become a nuisance. I saw her circling the property, sometimes disappearing into the trees behind the house. She's acting very strange. Hmm. And then backup data? Corrupted files. Okay. Is that supposed to mean something to me? So we got this test hollow tape. Which I don't have the option to load there. And if I look in my uh, hollows here, go up to test hollow tape. That is what it was called, right? Test hollow tape. Play. Well, that isn't doing anything. Maybe there's another terminal around here that I'm supposed to put it in. And who's this? Who is this Sandra person? It was circling the place and that disappeared into the trees and started acting strangely. Pretty neat place here. Hey, how's it going? Protect and serve. Yeah? Protect and serve. Don't forget. Protect and serve. Protect and serve. You gotta do both of them. Okay, don't half-ass it and just protect or serve. You gotta protect and serve. Some cool looking equipment here. Nuclear waste. That's what he's using on these things, man. You know it is. Oh, look at this. A keypad. <laughs> okay. Well, I might be able to get in there anyway, even without the keypad, huh? Let's go around and take a look. Hmm. A damaged hazmat suit. I thought I was hopping into the part that you needed the keypad to get into. What part was it that you needed the keypad for? If we look in here. The refrigerator. I sure do love being a mutant. There's nothing up here. This is the other side of that door. Uh, there's a bobblehead over here. There's Excel, some water. Yeah, like I need more water. We just saw that I had like 150 bottled waters. Recipe that we already know. Ooh, bobby pins, I'll take those. And then uh, a note. Test case results. I'm not really sure what just happened. All test cases have produced negative results. Everything was going perfect and now every single crop has wilted and died. 
I wonder if Sandra has anything to do with this. Something doesn't add up. Who... Who is or was Sandra? Oh, the door shut again. Huh. I'm trapped. Well, there are um, some structures over here. torso mod somebody's been camping out here Let's see what's in the barn nasty things A little all key pass notes possible keypad passwords having a tough time spying through the trees to see what password he inputs hand keeps blocking the numbers i think he wrote this 28 scribble 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 28 p scribble scribble i finally had enough of looking at larry's stupid science experiments it's bad enough that watoga is always on my horizon but now i have this junk right in my own backyard I have a decent supply of toxin to contaminate his water supply. I just need to find a way into that back room. Hmm. So she was responsible for it. Don't really know why. Don't know what she had against him. Why she felt like she needed to do that to him. And she was talking about Watoga. And now this. Maybe she just didn't want any neighbors. It's probably something as simple as that. Right? You know, she's like, well, now I have to look at freaking Watoga on the horizon and... Now this guy shows up and I gotta look at his crap. He just probably wasn't very happy about it and wanted to get rid of him. That's probably it. But, interesting nonetheless, uh, I don't see how I could have missed this in my main playthrough, so if anybody knows, please let me know if this is a new thing that was added recently or if this has been here all along and I just flat out missed it. It could happen. I'm gonna get up here. Because I can. That's why. I don't think I can get up here though. Well, let's see. By golly, I made it. I'm king of the silo. Alright. So I'm gonna end this episode here. Uh, when we come back next time, we'll go back to my camp and uh, we'll see if Forager Settler or Settler Forager or whatever his name is has anything for us. And then uh, I have a couple other things that I'm going to try out too. And also, hopefully, um, well, there will be an interesting event. Somebody told me about one that one called Radiation Rumble at M Mountain Disposal. Uh, remember, we went there a couple episodes ago, and we saw all those people in those cool hazmat suits. So hopefully one of these days, I'll get to participate in that event. We'll see. Come back next time and find out. Thanks for watching. See you then.